Hey, good morning. It's December 9th, and it's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections. I was uh, looking at a couple of things this morning, and, and one of the interesting things I found out about this day in history, that on this day in history, in the year 1979, the disease smallpox was officially declared eradicated. And uh, why is that significant? Well, I, I did not know this, but I read that while the what we know as smallpox probably started around the 1500s or something like that, that some form of that disease, virus, whatever, goes back even um, to uh, BC times. And it's said that possibly Pharaoh Ramses V of Egypt died of something like smallpox. So that has been around for such a long time. And we now say that it's gone. Um, in my family, I know uh, my sister, who's just a couple of years older than I am, had to have the smallpox vaccine, which uh, from what I understand from uh, mom and dad telling me about her experience with that, um, it was one of those things that made you sick often when you took it. And you almost wish, you know, that the, you almost thought that the, the uh, cure was worse than the disease, which it wasn't. And then just two years later, I didn't have to take it. Uh, but I was born before 1979, but at that point, we declared it eradicated. The reason I really bring this up is uh, it gives me hope in these times. We have the ability when people cooperate, when people do things that they should and, and get vaccinated when the vaccine's out there. Um, we, God has, has created some incredible medical technology that things like smallpox can go away. And as we get closer and closer to folks being able to get a uh, vaccine for COVID-19, uh, we realize that because of the wisdom that God has given so many incredible people, we have the ability to potentially wipe this out. And that gives me hope because there are some days um, when it's hard to have hope. I heard recently of uh, an entire family in my previous congregation that uh, pretty much everybody in the family wound up with COVID. Uh, fortunately, only one of them has had to be hospitalized, but it's, it's such uh, a painful, painful disease on individuals, uh, um, on communities, and on this world. And if we can get, if, if we have done this in the past, it gives me hope that we can also take care of something like this in the present and in the future, because God always watches out for God's people. God always wants us to be safe and healthy. So as we think about the season of hope, uh, we continue to uh, thank God for that hope and uh, for the light at the end of the tunnel with our current predicament. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another new day that you give us a day where we get to feel your love and we get the opportunity to share it with others. We thank you that in the middle of this pandemic, we can still have hope. We have hope because we have seen what, uh, what people have been able to do with the gifts that, uh, with which you have blessed them to get rid of things like polio and smallpox and other other dreaded diseases help us as we get closer to still have hope and to do what we need to do to take care of each other, uh, to wear masks, to stay, to stay distant, um, to be just to be smart. Continue to help us through this pandemic. We pray your protection on on those um, in hospitals who are right there on the front lines. Keep them safe as they attend to those who are who are suffering. Heal our sick. Continue to bless those wonderful scientists and, and uh, technicians who have um, done such great work uh, in coming up with several vaccines, but help us to be ready for them, uh, to be ready by doing what is smart and safe. We ask that you watch over all who are sick, all who are hungry, all who are homeless, all who are lonely, 
and help us to see how we can help them by sharing your love and sharing what we have to make our communities in this world better. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.